Let's talk about the top WoW add-ons for 2023, in particular the essential picks for 10.2 when it comes to quality of life, a sleek and sexy UI, but also functional addition to your gameplay so you can push keys and raid bosses. In this video, I will go over the Marcellian Online team UI and how you can get yours to be clean and efficient while also helping you improve your game. Starting it off with the UI setup, you may have noticed our action bars, unit frames and so on and are set in a particular way. Marcellian, Mokti and myself essentially have different positioning on our user interface elements and you have definitely noticed it in our videos lately. Since there is no point in detailing each individual one, you can copy the import links down below and use whichever one you like more. Have fun! And the best place to install, manage and maintain your add-ons and all of the add-ons from this video has been our main choice for years now, CURSEFORGE! CURSEFORGE is the easiest and quickest way to install and keep add-ons up to date with just a few clicks. The library of choices is massive, if not close to complete and I was even able to find one by just blindly typing GREAT VAULT in the search box and hoping I would come across an add-on which shows me my vault rewards and progress without me having to actually go to it and find it in-game. And I did lol, <laughs> I actually found that add-on. Whether you get UI add-ons or quality of life additions to your game, nothing beats one click to update all of them instantly so you can just get on with your gaming session. CurseForge is free to get and you can click the link down below to install yours and support the Marcellian Online team in the process. Thanks CurseForge for sponsoring this video and now let's see what goodies we can get with it. As for the actual UI add-ons, I don't use any, just rocking the standard blizzard colors, but Marcellian is using Uber UI with no settings changed whatsoever. You can of course customize it however you want it, but the look he is rocking can be achieved by just letting it fly. Mokti, which provides us with Red Paladin, Prot Paladin and Enhancement Shaman footage mostly uses SUI. If you like this one better, get it ASAP. Both of these UI add-ons essentially darken the bars and give a sleeker, darker look to your UI, relaxes the eyes and makes stuff look cool. Make your bags also look cool and sexy with either Addy Bags or Bag Non. Either one of these two essentially makes storing, sorting and managing your items a lot smoother and they each come with customizable options for you to play with. Although the devs have revitalized the bags as well, there are still features they have not added to them yet, plus they are also sometimes buggy. Addy bags or Bagnon will help you there. For the nameplates we use, all three of us currently use Quasi Splitter Profile. First, you need the Plater add-on, which you can get from CurseForge, and after that, you need to go to Quasi's website and copy his profile. The reason we use his, and the reason we recommend you check his website, is because his profile essentially has the health bars of mobs color-coded by who you need to interrupt, who you need to stun, who you need to focus, and so on. And what's cool about it, you can get his Plater together with a sound pack that tells you stuff you need to pay attention to, like dodging a frontal. The audio cues help people get into tougher content and can potentially take away some stress from you or fear of messing up when all of this combined will make mechanics much easier to handle. Once you have the Plater add-on installed from CurseForge, click on Quasi's link to get his profile, copy paste this whole text here and after this go into the game, type slash Plater and you get the add-on with all of the menu options. Click on Profiles and then click Import Profile. Paste the text you just copied here and press OK. Since I already have it, I am getting a prompt to replace the one I have. For you, you'll just hit OK when it's telling you your UI needs to reload. After you get your Plater profile, you can customize it how it appears or go deeper if you're so inclined. Personally, I only thickened the border of the health bars to give it a stronger outline making it easier to follow, but there are more things to do to change how all of this looks. Marcellian and Mokti also use specific combat text changes with the nameplate scrolling combat text, or nameplate SCT. This gives your combat text a cool coat of paint. It adds icons to your number so you know which ability did what, and you can play around with its settings quite a bit to set the size of hits and crits, if you see dodges and misses and so on. The last one on the list of visually improving add-ons will be Wecars. 
Granted, we cars have a lot of functional purpose as well, but realistically, all of the info they can give is already on your UI, but not as properly emphasized, color-coded, organized, positioned, and so on. We cars make all of this better, make your rotation easier to execute, especially when you can see your procs and stuff. As a bonus for Unholy and Frost DK, Marcellian created his own Wicaras which you may have seen in our videos with a link to them down below. Mokti also has some specific Wicaras for Red also linked down below. I personally just pick up packs from Wago.io where you can go and find more Wicaras like the ones from Public, Afinar or Doctorio as some of my personal favorites. And since you are already on Wago.io, look up Raid Ability Timeline. There are a bunch of variations of this and the one we recommend you take is Bigwigs or DBM Timeline. This one is the most requested Wikara on our channel. It links to your deadly boss mods or Bigwigs slash Littlewigs add-ons and displays boss mechanics as a scrolling Wikara and you can condense all of the tactics and mechanics of a boss fight, raid and dungeon alike in one simple scroll down tool. I mentioned deadly boss mods and big wigs and little wigs. These are add-ons that are one of the key ones to get if you want to raid and do Mythic Plus. You don't need all of them, get either deadly boss mods or the combination of big wigs and little wigs. These will essentially put warnings on your screen and keep track of mechanics that you need to be aware of when doing raids and dungeons. They are also required for the raid ability timeline weaker I mentioned earlier since that one takes the data from either of these add-ons. What will follow now are a series of add-ons that will improve your gameplay performance in whatever content you end up doing. Focus Interrupt Sounds is a simple add-on that will play sounds when important casts happen that you need to interrupt. Simply install and enjoy. Method Raid Tools is an essential raiding add-on if you want to raid at a difficulty that is challenging to you. And this is particularly great for Mythic Raiders, which they use it for organizing tactics and the actual raid team. The Mythic Plus counterpart is Mythic Dungeon Tools, MDT for short, which, among other things, help you plan out dungeon routes so you can finish on time and not waste said time by killing more trash mobs than necessary. More so, you can just use it passively while other people share their routes with you and the add-on will let you see what they plan to do. This is helpful if you want to plan your cooldowns and eventually clear higher and higher Mythic Plus keys. Since we already discussed the Wicaras, which are likely the most important functional add-on, I will briefly mention details since everyone probably already has this installed. What most people might not know is that you can use details to find a lot of information about a fight like how much damage you took, how much damage was done to a boss in contrast to the ads of a particular encounter, or even how much uptime you had on certain buffs like power infusion. All possible with details. There is no playing modern WoW without a bit of quality of life. Since there are so many things you can do in the game, collect, kill, progress through, there are endless add-ons that can make this a breeze for you. The ones we like to use start with World Quest List. This is the most efficient world quest add-on if you want an overview of what rewards are available, how much gold you can amass by doing all world quests gold related, rep, crests and so on by just looking at the whole map and checking the actual list of world quests. Hovering over one of the options will put a big X on your mark so you see where each one is located. And speaking of rep and grinding stuff, plumber is the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to seed farming in the Emerald Dream. This add-on shows you the active seeds and remaining time of each so you can actually do multiple seeds at once by flying from one to another and using the timer to make sure you come back and collect your rewards. You can only see the seeds while you are in the Emerald Dream however. To kind of go hand in hand with these two, you can get TomTom Tom and Silver Dragon and your open world content farming is going to be complete. TomTom Tom essentially works off of coordinates which you usually get when you ask anyone or look up on websites where things are. If you put the coordinates in TomTom Tom by typing slash way and the actual coordinates in game, you'll get an arrow that guides you to your destination. While Silver Dragon is the most in your face rare scanning add-on together with treasures, dirt piles and all of the stuff you pick off the floor in the Dragon Isles. It can be a bit invasive with the alerts, but that's how you can never miss a rare spawn or a treasure in a cave ever. 
Talent loadout X is one of the best things to use for the new talent systems, especially if you play a class with multiple specs or simply have too many builds where the basic Blizzard UI cannot store them all. Once you have a talent build you want to keep, simply press add config on the right side, choose a name and an icon and that's your talent build. You can do this for dozens of builds and swap between them by double clicking. The extra benefit of this is that it won't change your key binds like how the default loadout switching does by the Blizzard UI. And speaking of things that the Blizzard UI could do better, better character panel is what you want to easily keep track of your gear, enchants, eye levels and all of that. Nothing to set up here, just install it and enjoy a much better information presentation about your character. If you dabble in the auction house, Auctionator is the way to go. On top of making selling and buying easier, if you go to the auction house and pop open your profession window, you can select a craftable item and search the auction house for it. Auctionator will load a list with just the materials needed to craft it, the price for them and the actual crafted item itself, so you can see all of the gold prices and make your monopoly decisions on the spot. Great Vault, the one I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is a little icon on your minimap that shows you your active Great Vault status without you having to run a script for it or simply walk in Valdraken every time you want to check it. This and all other add-ons that add icons on your minimap will be easier to manage if you get the MBB add-on which condenses all of the icons into one. Kind of like a bag for your icons, keeping things clean and simple. And speaking of clean and simple, get your KSM really quick with the easiest specs to play. How? Well, watch our video on it right here and even if you have KSM, these specs are good to push keys with and even be mains for people wanting to dive deeper into M+, going into plus 20s and maybe even higher.